Hey guys, today I'm going to do a box opening of Top of Deck Crates, which is a monthly box. I will have the link to how you can get the box as well as a discount coupon. Now, this is kind of a semi-sponsored video. I'm not getting paid to make this video, but I did get a free box to review. And if you bought a box from them, I'm not getting paid. So there's no incentive for me to give a dishonest review because Again, I am not getting paid. It's not like Pico Trade or anything like that, right? Anyway, top deck crates uh, from your community to your tabletop. The concept of this box is very simple. They are going to have uh, Jace toy chest, Tinker Maker energy counters, and chain mail pendant. So these are the people Dark Mountain Mail E Mail, Jace's toy chest, and Tinker, Tinker. And those are the people who made this product, I guess. We'll take a look. Oh, pretty cool. So I'm going to, this is, these are energy counters. Very, very cool. And they're labeled. And this is the name of the company that made it. So they are labeled and very cool. Huh, let's, let's read. I believe you can paint them, looks like. Instructions, paint each panel. Uh, avoid paint around the five most outmost faces of panel two and three. Oh, you're supposed to, okay, once you paint it one color, it looks different. Maybe I'll paint it. Assemble each panel one to three, top two. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So you paint each panel, a different color probably, and then when you put them together, it looks really awesome because then it'll have like different colors. Pretty cool. Now that's awesome. You get a 100 plus deck box. You can never have enough deck boxes. Two Kaladas boost packs and a Shadows Over Innistrad boost pack, which I will open. These we will save for later. I will open this right now. Well, let's see what else. Oh, I like the. Oh, sleeves, which is pretty cool. Hyper mats, definitely a good brand of sleeve. Um, it, it's brown. Oh, and cool, the uh, items. So this is the metal chain. Obviously it is the one for each color of the pie. And a life counter, probably used for EDH. It goes all the way up to 99. That's very cool. Let's figure out. I'm gonna put this away. Let's figure out who that was from. Who is that from? So the life counter is from Jace's toy chest, and the chain mail is from Dark Mount Mail. I like the chain mail. It feels really good, and I actually might put this on my keychain. It's kind of geeky, but no one would know it's a geeky unless they know magic, which is you know, it's good. Um, and then the life counter is pretty cool. So those are, I, I believe they're independently created by people in the Magic the Gathering community. So let's open some packs. What am I hoping to get? Shadows over Innistrad. Avacyn and, yes, let's hope for an Avacyn. Avacyn. Season pass, that is a mythic. We have a foil, no, no foil. Huh. Season pass, definitely a card that probably should see a little bit more play than it does, but what can you do? Kaladas. Obviously we want Smuggler's Copter because we don't want Planeswalkers. Maybe Chandra is still relatively expensive, but the other Planeswalkers, Nissa. Oh, Inventor's Fair is pretty cool. So we got a Inventor's Fair, which is nice. I, I do like the card. It is a legendary land. It only has upside. So at the beginning of upkeep, if you control three or more artifacts, you gain one life. Add a colorless, so very good for a Drawsies. I should probably put this in my Drawsie deck. Four, sacrifice it, search your library for an artifact card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library, activate this if you control three or more artifacts. 
So a very powerful card, and def one of I think that was the first card spoiled was Inventor's Fair. All right, second pack. It's nice that you get some packs, so not every box is the same. This card is like OP. These two cards are OP in draft. Tool Crafter Exemplar, and this card is very good in the vehicle deck. It can drive vehicles, it can be a very big creature whenever you need it. Overall, a very... I like this box, I think it's pretty cool. So I'll have the link to the box below. I did get the box for free, but I'm not... No, I'm not going to get paid if you buy the box. So I try to keep it a little... It's, it can't be like Puka Trade, right? Where I get paid every time you guys sign up. That's probably not the best, you know, the best review for a product. But I did get the product for free. And I thought it was very good. You get free boost packs. You get um, a deck box, sleeves, which is good for draft. I always lose them. And then these items are probably what make it really unique. You get a dice. You get these. This was my favorite item. I didn't even know you could paint it, but it's pretty cool. And, oh, I guess these two were my favorite items. Like, this chainmail feels really good. Like, I don't know how they came up with it, but it was a good concept. And, like, it's a way that you can show that you like magic without showing that you like magic. Do you know what I mean? So if someone notices this and like, oh, hey, do you play magic? Then they probably play magic. And if someone notices this and they don't know what it is, then you probably don't really care. Anyway, leave a comment below and yeah, bye guys.